Hello friends, welcome to Ayurpreneur Academy, your own Ayurpreneur Academy which is meant for empowerment of the Ayurveda professionals. Hi, I am Dr. Vivekananda Mohan Kuroli, the founder of Ayurpreneur Academy and Ayurpreneur Lifestyle Hub. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Ayurpreneur Academy. Today, I am going to put my thoughts on the how to develop an entrepreneurial development cell in an Ayurveda college. Okay, so the, the, when we are speaking, speaking about the entrepreneurship, when we are speaking about the entrepreneurship, we need to know what is entrepreneurial development cell and what is uh, its functionality and what, why it is required. So, when you want to have an entrepreneurial development cell, what do you mean by entrepreneurial development cell is? Entrepreneurial development cell is where you will uh, means create an environment where the students of that particular college who are with some innovative ideas, they will be nurtured and they will be guided through a process of create uh, uh, the, whatever the idea they have got, that ideation, validation of that idea and then putting it into the, the shape where it can be brought to the market for the end users. Okay, so for that what you need to do is, there are 12 steps of how you can develop your entrepreneurship development cell in, in your institution. So the 12 the what you call the steps are the you need to conduct a preliminary assessment then create a vision and mission then build a dedicated team then develop a curriculum facilitate the networking promote research and innovation and provide incubation support then collaborate with industry organize entrepreneurship development programs create a digital presence then monitor and evaluate sustain and expand. So these are the 12 steps which will be, which will guide you through to develop an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial development cell in your own institution. So the first step, as we advanced the first step, the, you need to conduct a preliminary assessment where you need to assess what the existing infrastructure and resources you are having to start up your entrepreneurial development cell. Okay, so for that, whether it is sufficient for your entrepreneurial development cell or not, whether you got some lacuna where you need to add on, that you need to check it out. And if you are blessed to be in a very good infrastructure, low water institution, and whether the incubation center can be facilitated there, that you are supposed to, you need to look into that. So there are two things are there. One is the entrepreneurial development cell, and then the third, second is the incubation center or incubation center. So entrepreneurial, it is like a funnel. You are bringing or for example, if the 100 students, they come with an innovative ideas using Ayurveda and they will be brought into the, what you call the entrepreneurial development cell. So out of that 100 ideas, you need to validate them. Then you will be shortlisting because the validation of the idea that another video I will be making on that, how to do the validation of the idea, of a business idea or an entrepreneurial idea from the Ayurveda. So, but let us come to, at this point of time, you need to understand that the first idea, whatever the ideas they come up, they may not sustain, they may not be what you call the fit to go into market. So that is what, how you need to validate them. So that the process is there, validation of, process, validation of the idea process is there, that you need to look into. For that, then once you shortlist, they go into a, oh, the funnel, it's like a funnel, the 100 students, then we do, they may be broke, short, shortlisted to the 50, then 20, then 10, then last, the minimum or whatever the, depends upon the or what the ideas they are coming, that may reduce to a minimal size. From there, you need to nurture, you need to provide the idea, then that idea should be validated, then the particular networking and also what all steps I am mentioning, that all you need to take out, take care in this and the setting of your, the entrepreneurial development cell. Now, incubation center is a, it's a bigger one. Okay, it's a bigger one where the total, the research will go on, R&D section will be there, then the market, the, what you call the prototypes are made and then they will be assessed and then the market survey will be there, it will be put into the market and then minimum viable product will be prepared and that will be assessed and that is a bigger one. So that requires a big infrastructure. So let us speak only about the entrepreneur, entrepreneurial development cell, which is a basic one which can create a funnel and which can be, which, which can act like in a funnel to reduce and validate the ideas and then send to the incubation center. Okay, so the first step as I told you, you need to conduct a preliminary assessment and to assess whether your existing infrastructure is sufficient to at least nurture those ideas and to try, try to transfer them into the business ideas. So, you need to 
identify your own because I am telling the steps, you know. In the steps that you need to build your team for that, you need to identify the potential stakeholders of your institutions. It may be from the faculty, it may be from the students, it is you are supposed to connect with the local entrepreneurs and the industry experts in and around you so that as, a, as your entrepreneurial development cell starts functioning, they will come in handy and they will contribute in developing your cell as well as nurturing those innovative minds. Then you need to seek approvals and support from your what you call the organization where the necessary approvals from the college authorities as well as the departments interdepartmental if uh, the innovations are going to happen that you need to take out and uh, secure the financial and infrastructure support from the management so that uh, if you do all this pre assessment then you are go right, you are uh, what good to go with the idea of uh, creating your entrepreneurial development cell or setting up your entrepreneurial development cell. Now, the basic thing for setting up an any, any whatever goal or any journey is you need to have a vision and a mission. So, create a vision and a mission for your entrepreneurial development cell. There should be a clear vision, there should be a clear mission statement for the, your entrepreneurial development cell which will outline the objectives and goals related to Ayurveda and the entrepreneurship. Okay, Ayurveda entrepreneurship. For example, I have created my own, I have got my own vision for my academy. I have got my so the Ayurveda Academy, what I have created, what I have founded in the year 2022, it has got a vision that to collectively empower all the Ayurveda professionals to develop an entrepreneurial mindset and skills to lead abundant uh, abundant lifestyle by adding value to the society in the healthcare sector. That is the vision. That is my with this vision. I have started my Ayurveda Academy. That's why I have got a clear vision that I want to help the Ayurveda student, Ayurveda faculty, what with the fraternity, and they should be living an entrepreneurial lifestyle with using Ayurveda and also helping the society. And the mission for this Ayurveda Academy is I want to create, I want to create a vibrant Ayurveda lifestyle hub. A hub community of 100,000 100, Ayurveda professionals to achieve and live the entrepreneurial lifestyle by using Ayurveda, their Ayurveda knowledge and skills to accomplish social significance, professional significance, financial abundance, and time freedom using my business, Ayurveda business model, Ayurveda business master, and Ayurveda business, what you call the empire. So, in that way, you need to be clear about. The vision and mission. So, for example, now I am working in the Indian Institute of Ayurveda Research and Hospital, Rajkot. Okay, so for that, what I have created the vision for the my entrepreneurial development cell here in the Indian Institute of Ayurveda Research is to train. The vision is to train and prepare all the Ayurveda students and faculties to develop an entrepreneurial mindset and skills to achieve professional success by healthcare innovations to create a healthy society for the planet earth. That is the vision what I have developed for the my institution where the I, I am the head of the, I, the entrepreneurial development cell and the mission for the same the entrepreneurial development cell of Indian Institute of Ayurveda Research and Hospital Rajkot is to create 100, 1000, create 1000 competent Ayurveda entrepreneurs for the global health market to address chronic and lifestyle disorders with innovative Ayurveda health pro care products and services of international standards by 2030. Because see, it's a continuous process and the colleges will be having the students every year. So we need to have a what you call time lined what you call the mission. So, it, the mission can be revised. Vision cannot be changed. Vision will be once, but mission can be revised. The mission can be changed. Mission 1, mission 2, mission 3 like that. So, first my target or my, our mission of our EDC is 1000 competent entrepreneurs if you are able to make by 2030 successful especially. Then the our purpose, our mission is. So, in that way you need to what you call create create your own vision and mission for your entrepreneurial development cell. So, the third step is build a dedicated team because 
alone you cannot develop you cannot make the innovations or alone you cannot develop in a cell on the development cell especially so on the development cell it requires team work and the team with the same goal if it works then the performance will be high and by that the success will be achieved very soon so the team can be comprised of faculty members students and external experts who can share uh, who are sharing the same interest that is interest in ayurveda and entrepreneurship okay so assign specific role roles and responsibilities to team members that is very much important because the team is there but it, if it doesn't know what are the objectives what are their roles responsibilities then the team cannot excel so you need to assi assign the particular speci the specific roles and responsibilities for each team member so that you can increase the productivity and the speed of the your your goal what you call the entrepreneurial goal and by that you can easily achieve the what the your edc can achieve or can prepare a lot of entrepreneurs from ayurveda so develop a fourth step fourth step of the what you call the entrepreneur development cell is develop a curriculum so curriculum is very much important for anything any any learn because it's a, of course the ayurveda college and medical college the entrepreneurship is a new concept and this most of it falls under the what to call the mba that is master of businesses as or administration so it is of a business what to call the area so because of that that is less spoken in the medical colleges the entrepreneurship is less spoken in the medical colleges I, when i coined the ayurpreneur word in the year 2022 It was not known to anyone, and they were not getting the clear idea what is entrepreneur. Entrepreneur means so. Now, thanks to the what I made, and the, of course the the world is changing, the social media entrepreneur now it has become popular. Now people are using it, so that's why that the concept what I developed in two thousand nineteen itself the entrepreneurship, which I I could get into in twenty twenty two. Okay, so that curriculum design is very much important. So. curriculum without curriculum you cannot sell you cannot sell in the you cannot advance in the learning or you cannot make the students learn and implement it so it is like entrepreneur development cell as i'm telling the entrepreneurship is a new concept for our students we need to have our own curriculum so that they can have the orientation towards the entrepreneurship and how that entrepreneurship can be amalgamated with ayurveda and entrepreneurship can be brought in for example i created my own what you call the course in this regard with ayurveda success blueprint and the ayurveda success blueprint i have made 15 modules so that a basic idea can be given and our students can be motivated and our own ayurveda people not only students even ayurveda doctors all the professionals teachers can be motivated for that reason i created ayurveda success blueprint with 15 module which like this is just outline i am giving so that you can prepare your own curriculum at your own institution based on the and what are the infrastructure and availability of the all these resources you can create have your own what to you call the uh, curriculum so in module 1 i try to give what is ayurveda ayurvedic entrepreneurship the introduction to the ayurvedic entrepreneurship entrepreneurship module 2 is how to identify their micro niche in ayurvedic entrepreneurship module 3 is in four parts because this is the biggest one which is dealing with the mindset of the our own students okay ayurveda people so ayurveda people are that entrepreneurial mindset is we need to develop in them so for that i made a, a exhaustive four parts that is identifying and overcoming the barriers for ayurvedic in the part 1 part 2 part 3 part 4 okay and module number 4 is educating them okay for this and start making them to pushing them to start start, start at least a small step so that they can become a successful entrepreneur so they need to educate them and need to push them that is the model number 4 and model number 5 is the persistence is required in the any entrepreneurial journey because entrepreneurship is not easy and i visited t work in the hyderabad as a part of our capacity building program for the higher the faculty for entrepreneurship uh, thanks to nims me they have made a wonderful what you call the curriculum and we visited there and i could i the one a big banner what attracted me was the t work which is for making the prototypes of all the innovative ideas there so the big workshop is there and there the big one banner is there that is come fail and succeed so that means the entrepreneurship or business initially 
most of the business they fail and then they succeed because they learn from the failure and then they mo what you call modify and reform it and then they come with the a best product so that is how the mind and body connection for achieving success is very much important that's why model number 5 model number 6 is importance of seeking support of a mentor so without a mentor we cannot learn anything so we need to have a mentor so he can guide us properly so i am I, i always try to have mentors for this and thanks again for the ncism for creating this capacity building program for the faculties and the in association with the nims may hyderabad okay so model number 7 is creating a business plan for ir the venture model number 8 what i have created is marketing and branding for ir the entrepreneurship model number 9 i try to make the give the some ideas about the ayurvedic product development and formulations model number 10 integrating the traditional ayurveda with the modern techniques how we can integrate them model number 11 financial management for ayurvedic entrepreneurs because that is the one which is the biggest lacuna in the medical protocol education that uh, finance matters are not taught to us because and of course they do not fall in the curriculum because of the finance management finance knowledge is uh, we are illiterate about the financial knowledge so that like you know supposed to be overcome so that the students can think on those lines of as a businessman and then the the innovative idea along with the, the businessman thought can really give to a sustainable and what to call a good product and viable product in the market okay so model number 12 is how to build a client relationship and customer sir and how to develop the good customer service because that are the, the that is the soul of any business the clients and customers are the souls of any business and their particular what to call the relationship with them and making them happy and then continuing building the customer what to call the uh, community building increasing the what to call the number of the customers of the uh, the community of customers supposed to be expanded for that that model number 12 model number 13 is of course the legal and regulatory considerations in ayurvedic entrepreneurship and model number 14 scaling and expanding the ayurvedic business because once you start you need to scale it you need to build it so for that the ayurvedic business you need to expand the model number 14 explains about how we can expand and scale up the business what you have started and model number 15 is developing patience and staying committed as i already told you it takes at least 2 to 3 years to your product or your particular idea to get the what the momentum and acceptance in the society when it is especially innovative one so especially in the health sector it takes a lot of time because a lot of competitors are there you need to compete with your the segment as well as then you should come out so that is how i formulated this my what to call the 15 module course for ayurveda success blueprint which can guide the ayurveda students and even the teachers who faculties who are going to be heads of the what to call the entrepreneurial development cell to understand how we need to look into the particular what to call the entrepreneurship in ayurveda okay so curriculum is very much important you need to develop a curriculum for your own curriculum or the follow the curriculum which are already ex ex existing uh, on, on the what you call the other platforms or the resources to get the resources from there and then you develop a curriculum which can suit which can suit the your entrepreneurial development cell necessities then integrate the only thing what you need to remember what you need to take care you is, is you need to integrate ayurveda and entrepreneurial concepts perfectly then only that will succeed then you need to create the courses workshops and you should conduct the workshops you should conduct the seminars you should make the people to come in and connect with your students and then motivate them so in the context of ayurveda i have created this ayurveda business model on the 6c basis that is courses certification coaching community consultation collaboration weekly inner circle calls to nurture those minds learners and helping them hand holding them to take to the ideation to the what launch of the product okay so expert ex, experts can i i'll be i am i am calling experts in my community to deliver their share their experience as an successful entrepreneur so, so in that way you can call the resource person to your what you call the institution to deliver the uh, uh, their share their service uh, experiences and the what you call 
you can create a, a environment which can motivate the students to get into the entrepreneurship and the advantages of being in entrepreneurship especially with ayurveda why the global whole globe is looking for towards the ayurveda for all the innovative what to call the and acceptable and more easier cheaper better and faster as the our brain tracy says as a brain tracy says the product it becomes successful a service it will become successful when it can solve a bigger problem with its unique solution and along other along with that it is cheaper better faster and easier to use so these if the r's three r e r r if you use in your product that becomes an awesome product that becomes an awesome service so we need to develop curriculum in that way okay then step number 5 step number 5 is facilitate the networking that is very much important the business can grow only when there is networking is there so create the network system and in the your development cell which can be collaborating with different entrepreneurs the business leaders and the experts so that they will putting in all their what to call the knowledge as well as they can be picking up the what to call the entrepreneurs or the uh, what to call the uh, prototypes from your institution and then they can be Uh, at a larger scale it can be put into the market by their support so there is a continuous support communication community should be there to help each other that's why i created an ayurveda lifestyle hub an exclusive community for ayurveda professionals to create their own entrepreneurial ecosystem entrepreneurial ecosystem so and i i am as i told i am inviting the experts who are already successful in ayurvedaship who the our, our own people or the other people who are making they, who have made an ayurveda entrepreneurship very successful i am calling them for ayurveda success talks okay so that is about the step number 5 step number what you call the 6 is step number 6 is promote research innovations research and innovation so the what you call the the intellectual what of the quotient of the students will be similar it is not i do not agree that intellectual quotient is less or it will be varying But only thing what varies is the lack of interest and lack of motivation and lack of object understanding the objective of the purpose or the purpose rather than lack of purpose of their studies so if you instill this purpose and if you can give them the clarity what 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 the objective they can serve if they involve in the research and by that if we in what you call the uh, stimulate their what you call the creativity that will help them to create the research and they can go get into that so every verse every verse in ayurveda classics that can become an entrepreneurial idea and our students if they are stimulated if they are promoted if they are motivated if they are inspired definitely they can come with a newer research ideas and every student will be having that capacity to convert the what the classic has told in that is in a innovative way that can be adopted to the present era okay so you need to again the integration of the entrepreneurship and ayurveda should be made and encourage the students to engage in research related entrepreneurship in ayurveda and establish a platform to showcase their what to call the we told the ideas and the innovations as like for example i have created this platform i to academy to call all those people who are doing it this one and i want to promote them so that this the, the that they should be made visible to the whole world then only that idea can become acceptable and that become in a most what called uh, popular product or service step number 7 is provide incubation support so of course as i told you incubation is a bigger one it requires a lot of infrastructure lot of team and lot of resources so incubation at the institution level at a college at a college level it is very difficult luckily we have got three what i could found the incubation center in the t hub at hyderabad okay t hub at hyderabad is a way, wonderful incubation center what i have seen and that supports the what to call the startups corporations governments academy and investors to drive a transformative change and that supports all the it gives the space it gives mentoring it gives what to call the uh, it connects with the investors and it helps you to connect with the t uh, other its allies sister concern groups of uh, t work and other all those things so that one idea can be made into reality and that can be used for uh, 
business. So T Hub, which functions on, which has got a tagline from ideation to investment, from ideation to investment it means all those sectors, all the spokes of the ecosystem of the entrepreneurship, it is going, it is dealing T Hub, and this is for general, especially with the digital part and the technological part, they are helping more. Ayurvedic part, they are they are looking forward for our collaboration, so we can collaborate with them with our own ED cell can be collaborated with the T hub of the Hyderabad and by that we can create a wonderful what you call the uh, scenario in the entrepreneurship what I am advocating since last three years. Okay, so the 6M and 2P is what it works on the T hub it works on 6M okay 6Ms and 6Ms and 2Ps. So M first M for money, second M for methodology, third M for market access, third for fourth for mentorship, for fifth for motivation, sixth is manpower, seven and two P's are one is policy advisory and partnership. As I told, see all these I created my own academy as well as my courses I created not before visiting the T Hub, but how coincidentally my ideas and my thought process matches with that already existing a tycoon of the what you call the incubation center, a big incubation center. So methodology is, see I created an entrepreneur flywheel method where I used the, cons, no, uh, the six step method, six step method, the methodology when you are speaking about methodology, you need to have a clarity. So six step methods I have created for achieving the entrepreneurship in uh, entrepreneurship that I named it as entrepreneur flywheel method. And so the concept that is step one is Okay, the step one is concept clear mindset we should have. Concept clear mindset, our students should have concept clear mindset. Second is we should help train them to have a skill set. So that is competent skill set. Third is whether that that idea can generate the revenue or not, that is monetization onset. Fourth, in, fourth one is whether it is relevant to the present time or not, that is the relevant to time set. Fifth stage, fifth step is marketing tool set how we can market that okay market to the world and the sixth is sales and service fest sales and service fest means ultimately we want the sales if we are not doing sales then that entrepreneurship is not flourishing so the mentorship program as i told i have created i have a business model a silver membership a gold membership diamond membership i have created so that i can mentor the the students who can come for what you call the looking for entrepreneurship in Ayurveda or using entrepreneurship in Ayurveda. So partnership program as I told, IFN Lifestyle Hub will be there to partner with the same mind, like-minded people so that they can create their own what you call the ecosystem of entrepreneurship in Ayurveda. Okay, so that is how this uh, T-Hub is working and that is one of the biggest incubation center what I saw, what I seen uh, recently and it is for technological support. Okay, and uh, offer the mentoring resources and access to networks. So mentoring is required, you need to know, you need to have the resources, you need to have some guidance, you need to have some networking. So what I found that NIMSME, that is National Institute for Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises is a wonderful, what are the government body, what I have experienced with such a, a dedicated faculty there, who are always ready to guide you. So I wish that all the, the people who want to get into entrepreneurship once visit the NIMSME, which is under the, which is with the, what you call the micro small medium, which supports micro small medium enterprises, okay, which is uh, M, M, and the collaborator as a part of MSME. And they have got their own development facilitations offices in different part of the states. Each state will be having two, three, uh, like development of facility, of facility, what you call facility, facilitation offices, okay, excuse me for that, development facilitation offices, there you can send your what you call students to interact and propose, put the proposal of their what you call the innovative ideas and by that they can access and they can be easily, they will be supported to bring up their own micro, small or medium enterprises, okay. Then, these are all general what I am speaking and our own All India Institute of Ayurveda Delhi, New Delhi has got its own incubation center. That is a wonderful thing, the wonderful initiation which has been taken from 
by the Ayush Ministry, Ministry of Ayush, okay, Government of India. So that is named as All India Institute of, All India Institute of Ayurveda Incubation Center for Ayurveda Innovation and Entrepreneurship. That is IIA ICAN. Okay. So what is the what is what is the objective core objective of IIA ICAN is incubating incubating the future entrepreneurs. Okay. Your EDC cell, that entrepreneur development cell, will shortlist that the and do the validation of the idea, and then you will be sending them to the incubation center. Okay. So incubation center, that IIA ICAN, it enables the uh, first hand experience in promoting the innovation driven activities at the institute at the institute it helps to it, it, it can collaborate with the institute also it will help there also and it will provide a comprehensive and integrated range of support including space they can give monitoring they will do they will do the training for the they will conduct the training programs for the entrepreneurship they will network you with the investors and the business other business people and other benefits they can give okay and even I can has also committed to provide them a non-fiscal incentives as an incubator support. Okay, even that the, the, this is a great initiative which has been taken up by the what you call the initiative. So the seventh step is provide incubation support. Okay, then eighth step, step number eight among the out of the twelve for setting up your entrepreneurial entrepreneurial development cell is collaborate with the industry. You need to, because all of us who are maybe trained there in NIMSME or the teachers of Ayurveda in the college, working in the college, we, we are lack this collaboration with the, with lack the business ideas and the, what you call the uh, field ideas, what the field requires, the ground root, root level ideas. So we need to con collaborate with the industry so that the industry can support you whenever, whatever you require to, for example, it may be creating a product, it may be creating a device, it may be providing a service. So any of that can be. So you need to forge a partnership with Ayurvedic companies, healthcare institutions and other relevant industries like even the technology, tech is booming and you need to take the help of the technology. So th these can be, the need to forge partnership with them so that your EDC will become very comprehensive and well established so that for any queries, any problem, any difficulties for the students to create their own entrepreneurial journey, you will be there to help them with the support of all these collaboration. So facility, facilitate internship, joint projects and industry academic collaboration. That is most important. You need to facilitate the training of your students in such industries. Okay, jo create some joint projects with them or with those people and there should be a a true academic and industrial collaboration should be there because business people will be only doing the business, they will, they will be having the industry ideas. But what our Ayurveda, what our Ayurvedic classics they say, that is supposed to be collaborated with those industry people. Then when this brainstorming happens, mindstorming happens, brainstorming happens, mindstorming happens, then the wonders can happen. So as the Nimsme says, okay, the Nimsme says that it is for everything comes under this project. Entrepreneur development cell. Otherwise, you should have, you should set the goal for them. Idea should be generated, and that idea should be validated. Then it should be tested. Then proof of concept should be there. Then mentoring should be there. Then industry collaboration should be there. Then such idea can become that will become ready to go into the market. Okay. So step number nine is organize the entrepreneurship development programs. Okay, organize entrepreneurship development program. So, conduct regular workshop as I told, training program should be done, hackathons focused on the entrepreneurship in Ayurveda can be done as I am I'm, I'm, I'm going to conduct the Ayurthon in my Ayurpreneur Lifestyle Hub, a 90 day challenge or one day challenge. Invite successful entrepreneurs and industry experts to share their experiences. As I just, It may be appearing a reputation for you people, but, but mind it, we need support from the industry people, we need support from the already established entrepreneurs, we need support from the finance people, we need support from the other what you call the uh, resource persons who are in the MSME or NIMSME because we are novice in the business, we are novice in the entrepreneurship. So we need hand holding for that we need to organize entrepreneurship development programs, sensitization program should be conducted 
by that students will get a motivation when they see the successful people successful entrepreneurs in front of their eyes they get motivated and they really get in a what to call ideas they start thinking in that direction okay it's a saying famous famous saying is there na no? you will become average of the five with whom you are hanging around so the environment should be created the environment should be created in that when i went to the tv hub and tv work i was so much motivated looking at that environment so environment plays a major role in all our achievements all our decisions all our goals and all our actions so we need to create an entrepreneurial environment in each i the college then only the dream of ncism aish ministry government of india will come true that the ayurveda people can become an ayur premier that's why i call i started calling all the ayurveda faculties or all the professionals ayur premiers since 2022 july okay so because we are already already we are ayur premiers already are on we are entrepreneurs we have got innovative ideas we are treating the patient with the innovative ideas innovative what to call the what to call measures but only thing is that we are not put into the market definition we need to what we need to acquire that position okay so step number 10 coming to step number 10 is it's very much important that your if your de- entrepreneurial development cell has to excel and it has to get the what to call the attention from your students it should be put into website it it should be put into digital ma- digital space in this era at the 21st century if you are not on the digital space you are considered as equal to as a dead you are not alive so you need to make your presence your edc cell presence in the digital space so you need to create the website the social media platforms okay and then put all the your testimonials your learning your your teachings and your observations and your motivations your ideations and ideas that doesn't mean that you need you need to disclose your ideas from your entrepreneur edc to the public no i am not telling about that idc means motivating what to call the affirmations okay those things can be put as i made okay as i made my what the website okay you can see entrepreneur lifestyle website i have created an entrepreneur lifestyle website so that uh, my digital what to call the presence should be made to the world so in that way a very attractive and very branded looking uh, what to call uh, branded looking website like this iron lifestyle hub see i have I, this this the website has been designed very well i believe that you people also appreciate the branding you can visit my website iron lifestyle hub you can you can see there okay by the way if you are not still subscribe for my youtube channel that is iron academy kindly go and subscribe it and click the what you call the bell icon so that you can get the in what whenever i post new videos especially with relation to entrepreneurship in ayurveda you are going you are getting you will be getting the notification so utilize online platforms for your webinars virtual events and networking so that you can create your own digital presence by that the industry people the entrepreneurs the successful people they can they will try to collaborate with your edc cell so that the students will be benefited okay so that is how you need to create a your digital space okay 11 step number 11 is monitor and evaluate this is very much important unless you monitor and unless you evaluate you cannot decide your your progress you cannot decide your progress so you need to okay how adapt the monitoring system as well as evaluation system in your edc entrepreneurial development cell okay so so that it becomes effective and your programs your all initiatives will become effective okay so gather feedback from the students faculty and industry partners for continuous improvement so monitoring is in monitoring you will be gathering all the data you will be observing you will be observing the programs you will be observing your projects and then you will be gathering the data okay and uh, uh you what will be you will be cl- the objectives of the that particular project will be connected to that uh, what you call the resources okay the uh, the linking the activities and their resources to the objectives very much important the objectives are different and if you are working in a different way different direction that will not make the 
your goal of achieving entrepreneurship in ayurveda possible within the time timeline what you have fixed so you need to understand and translate objectives into performance indicators and set targets and routinely collect the data on these what to go indicators compare the actual results with the targets and report the progress to your authorities or the higher authorities and alert them to the problems if any problems are found you need to alert them means like here you need to con- communicate with the students as well as your higher authority so you need to monitor and then once on the based on the monitoring what you have done you need to do the evaluation so analyze why the results were if the results are achieved why it has been achieved why if the results are not achieved why they, you could not achieve the results then assess the specific casual contribution of activities to results examine implementation process explore the unintended results if anything comes in between the your the journey of entrepreneurship and provide the lessons highlights significant accomplishments or program potentials and offers recommendations for the improvement okay so how you need to think about the monitoring and evaluation unless the monitoring and evaluation is done you cannot uh, assess the pro- success of your project okay so you need the left step number 11 is monitor and evaluate step number 12 is how establish mechanism for the sustainable operation of your edc you need to sustain you need to survive you need to continue with the success journey of your entrepreneurship in your institution so your edc should be working on that your edc should be able to sustain and support the forthcoming what generation for that you should have a mechanism you should have a mechanism as you should have a team you should have resources you should have templates you should have checklists and you should be every time you should be trying to explore the opportunities for expansion collaboration with other institutions and organizations okay so this is all about the tall steps of the what you call the entrepreneurial development cell okay of course i wanted to conclude it in 10 minutes but it is it was not possible for me to conclude in 10 minutes it has extended to 42 minutes in so if you are if you are happy with this particular if you could get if you could get some ideas about how to de- what what are the steps to develop your own what you call entrepreneur development cell in your college in your ayurvedic college this is a template i have given of course as per your yukti your logical thinking your experience personal experiences your skills your your own skill your own expertise you can modify this these steps and you can have your own what to call the sop of developing your entrepreneurial development cell so that together we can make ayurpreneurship what is my dream project come true or each and every ayurveda doctor should become ayurpreneur that is my mission so once again i would like to repeat the 12 steps in a very slow manner so that it was very fast i could understand that you may be it may be difficult for you people to uh, follow me but still i would like to because of the to conclude it in a very shortest period i tried to go faster but let me once again summarize the steps so step 12 steps i have mentioned in the entrepreneurial development cell is so developing and establishing your own entrepreneurial development cell you can use the 12 steps first step is you need to make a preliminary assessment about your resources your what you call the infrastructure and you should gather the legal permissions as well as the authority permissions from your institution then create accordingly decide your vision decide your mission accordingly create all the infographics all the uh, what you call the uh, logos so that it will be once it is visible ras the reticular activating system will be activated and your sub subconsciously all your team will be working for achieving that entrepreneurship goal in the ayurveda so that's why that for that reason vision and mission is very much important vision board is important mission board is important third step is build a dedicated team of faculty students local entrepreneurs and other business experts fourth step is develop a curriculum which can suit your needs as i have created my own curriculum to instill and promote and guide i as a student about the entrepreneurship in my i for success blueprint okay then 
step number 5 facilitate networking networking is very much important in in the business or in any profession in the life itself so you need to facilitate the networking of your the entrepreneurial development cell with have a mou with different facilities which can guide you which can help you promote research and innovation in ayurveda Pro, step number 7 is provide incubation support thanks to aish again government uh, aish ministry they have made a very world class incubation center at in all india institute of ayurveda new delhi you can i can i can it is called i can you can go there and you can collaborate with them then provide uh, step number 8 is collaborate with industry for example with what industry that you know it is project what you are making which will help accordingly we should collaborate with that industry step number 9 is organize entrepreneurship development programs in your institutions on and often so that the your faculty or team members will get oriented you will get motivated they will they will be knowing much of deeper insights of the entrepreneurship so that that becomes an easy journey for them to take up step number 10 is create digital presence as i told you if you are not online on the digital space uh, with, with you have not made your what you call the branding with the digital space then you are not successful you are not going to be successful so create a digital presence of for your entrepreneurial development cell and entrepreneurial development cell of your institution and your personal also and your the students who are coming into the as an what you call the innovators and other uh, the ideas uh, with, uh, with the ideas they are coming uh, who are who are thinking of becoming entrepreneurs entrepreneurs let them start from today on the to brand themselves as a expert of that particular niche what he is doing for his project okay so step number 11 is monitor and evaluate step number 12 is sustain and expand so that is all from my side dr vivekan mohan kurli the first ayurveda transformation coach and the founder of ayurveda academy and ayurveda lifestyle hub it is your own ayurveda lifestyle hub and thank you for watching this video till the end if you are if you are subscribed to ayurveda academy youtube channel i am thankful to you i am grateful to you and I'll, i would like to help you with a lot of such inputs what i will come across i would like to put it to my channel so that you can be guided you can you, i'll be saving your time and resources your energy to get the knowledge and uh, follow me on my facebook the ayurveda academy facebook group is there you can join there and uh, the linkedin profile you can follow and instagram you can follow me vivekananda underscore kurori and ayurveda academy uh, instagram is there and uh, i'm i would like to see you in the next video so let us be let us live the abundant lifestyle which we truly deserve as an ayurveda vaidya okay thank you for watching see you in the next video whenever i come up with a new idea